بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين Peace be upon you our respected viewers and welcome to new episode of Shia Calendar with me Ali Maash We send our warm congratulations to the Imam of our time Al-Mahdi Al-Mutabar May Allah hasten his reappearance and to the whole Islamic world on this happy occasion on the 5th of Sha'ban which is the birth of our Imam Ali ibn Hussein al-Sajjad peace be upon him Today marks the 5th of the holy month of Sha'ban, the day in which Imam Ali ibn Hussein, peace be upon him, was born. The year was 38 after Hijrah. The Imam's father is none other than the Prince of Martyrs, Al Hussein ibn Ali, peace be upon him. And his mother was the pious and pure lady, Shah Zanan, and she is also known as Shahrbanu. His wife was the chaste lady, Fatima, the daughter of Imam Al Hassan al Mushtaba, peace be upon him. He has different epithets and names that he is known by, such as Abu Muhammad, Abu Hassan, Abu Qasim, the best of worshippers, Zain al Abidin, Dhul Thafanat, the Imam of the Believers, Imam al Mu'mineen, the Sincere, Al Zahid, and several other names. The Imam lived for 57 years, and the period of his Imama lasted 35 years. He lived during the times of some of the most treacherous tyrants of Banu Umayyah. They are Yazid ibn Muawiyah, Muawiyah ibn Yazid, Marwan ibn al-Hakam, Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, and Al-Walid ibn Abdul Malik. The Imam possesses very high morals and ethical standards. When we read into his life, we see him enact all the traditions set forth by his grandfather, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and his family. His mannerisms and the human nature would bring people to Islam. His worship and supplication would leave many in completely frozen state of amazement. It is reported that he was the most knowledgeable person amongst the people of his time period. A lot of grand scholars and jurists narrated from him. They did not just narrate in the category of fiqh, jurisprudence but they covered various different sciences, traditions of the prophets, manners, science, and so on. He is known for his eloquent supplication and prayers, and our scholars and jurists narrate from him what is known today as a Sahifa Sajjadiyya, which can be translated to the Psalms of Islam. The Book of Supplications and Prayers, this book, has been passed down from the jurists and scholars and it contains secrets to unlocking the mysterious of this world. In it is the code, the law that leads to sincere slave to Allah. In it is supplication and prayers for the days down to the hours. The Imam peace be upon him is known for his kindness and especially for his generosity. This is expected as he comes from the pure lineage of Lady Fatima peace be upon her. To put this image into perspective, we will narrate to you the following report from his life. Sheikh Al-Mufid reports the following in his Irshad. He says, There was a slave woman under Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him, who used to bring him water. One day, as she was pouring water for the Imam, the pot fell on the face of Imam and ripped his skin. He raised his head towards her, and she said to him, those who suppress their anger. Chapter 3, verse 134. The Imam, peace be upon him, said, I have suppressed my anger. She said, and forgive the people. From the same chapter, 3, verse 134. The Imam, peace be upon him, said, May Allah forgive you. She said, Verily, God loves the righteous one. The Imam, peace be upon him, said, Go, you are free by Allah. From the Book Al-Arshad, Volume 2, page 146. This picture really is beautiful and shows you the level of faith that this Imam has. If this was one of us and someone was pouring for his water and it fell on our face, what would we do? This is why we read such stories and memorize them. So we practice them. This is one snippet and already it contains so much lessons. Another characteristic of the Imam is his open hand in charity. He is known to be giving and caring for the poor and the needy. He would leave in the middle of the night 
covered so that no one can recognize him and give out food and water to the poor in Medina. It is even reported that the Imam, peace be upon him, would not eat something until he gives that same type of food he is about to eat as charity. He would carry heavy loads of bread and wheat on his back in the middle of the night and pass it out to those who is in need. He would inform his companions, giving charity in secrecy removes the anger of the Lord. From the book of Manaqib Ali Abu Talib, volume 3, page 292. Since all of his charity works was in the middle of the night, no one was ever able to know who was the covered man taking care of us. They ended up finding out after his martyrdom. For about hundred families began asking about this man and they knew it was him. The inhabitants of Medina would say, the secret man who used to give us charity never stopped until the passing of Ali ibn al-Hussein, peace be upon him. Henceforth, you can see what great qualities the Imam carries. We do not have the time to go through them all, because frankly, that would be impossible. But we provided these examples so we have a better understand of who this great Imam was. We narrate such stories and events so that we may extrapolate from them and take them as life lessons in our lives today. Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him, is a banner for us all, Muslims and non-Muslims. We can learn forbearance, patience, humility, kindness, morality, ethics, and so on. The Imam went through the tragedy of seeing his household, his brothers, his dear father being massacred in front of his eyes and lived through the image till his martyrdom. Yet he stood strong in front of the biggest tyrant of his time, Yazid when Yazid ordered his soldier to attack his auntie Zainab, peace be upon her. If anyone that listens to this short biography of Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him, wants to see who this man really is, I suggest one refer to his Sahif al sajjadiya the Psalms of Islam, and his Risalat al huquq Treaties of Rights. These two books will give you insight in this character like nothing else because man is known by the speech he utters and words he narrates. And the Imam Treatise of Right, which was written 1400 years ago, he shows us the rights of our mothers, fathers, siblings, friends, people, animals, and others. The treaties that he covers do not span and touch just the human side, but it spans all of Allah's creation because in this religion everything has a right and at the end of the day muslims or non-muslims we are all humans which is why the imam peace be upon him enacts the saying of the commander of the faithful peace be upon him found in his letter towards malik al-ashtar a letter which is recognized by the united nations today in which he says man is either your brother in faith or equal in humanity Henceforth, my dear viewers, the message of Islam is a message to mankind. And I hope you benefited from this short episode. This is what we have for you today. Until we meet in next episodes of Shia Calendar, this is Ali Maash, and peace be upon you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.